essentialism is really having a moment right now, so I wanted to do a video on it. I do think that it's a lot easier to implement than minimalism. It's not as strict, but it has the same benefits and it's really helpful to organizing your home, keeping things running smoother, and when you're busy, that is key. <laughs> Today I'm sharing small habits of essentialism that will forever improve your life. In a nutshell, essentialism is just simply this pursuit of less but better. These ideas will be really helpful. I like to think of essentialism as like, minimalism's saner cousin. And instead of saying, you know, I'm gonna have like five dishes and two pairs of shoes, it's more so thinking about what are the things that you need, what are the things that you love, what are the things you actually use, and, and curating that for your life instead. Okay, number one is to figure out what needs to happen in your house in order for your home to run smoothly. It isn't things like dusting the curtains or making sure all the toilets are cleaned every day or cleaning the stairs. Th those aren't essential things. You need to decide what those essential things are, but it's things like making sure that there's enough dishes for everybody who lives in the house, making sure that there's enough food for everybody in the house. For me, I also add, like to add things like making sure that the beds are made, making sure that the sinks are clean. I also like to close the kitchen at night so that I don't come down the stairs to a dirty kitchen. So I have certain things that I do each night before I go to bed in the kitchen. I also kind of go through the house, walk through the house each night and pick up anything that doesn't belong. I'm telling you, when you figure out what those essential tasks are that you need to do and then you start doing them, they will be on autopilot in your mind. You won't be thinking about them anymore and it will free up so much brain space for you to think about other things and to do other things and it's also way less stressful. One of the things I want to stress and this is in the book called Essentialism that essentialism isn't something new you need to do or something new that you need to think about. All it is is a mindset shift that you apply to everything that you're already doing. So it's not stressful to be like, oh, now I need to start thinking about essentialism. It's you apply it to everything you're already doing. Another habit of essentialism is getting enough sleep. I have talked about how important sleep is and it's really important for like mental health and making you feel better. I actually recently did a video on decluttering your bedroom. I'll go ahead and link it. Some of the things you can do in your bedroom to encourage sleep, you know, make sure that you've got comfortable bedding, make sure that your room isn't too cluttered. Also making sure that your room is painted a nice calming color. I know that some people are kind of sick of gray, but gray is a great calming color. Also blue is great, green is great. You know, anything peaceful and relaxing will promote sleep. These colors are scientifically proven to promote sleep, so I just recommend repainting your room if it's not a relaxing color. I used to have my bedroom yellow and I know this sounds weird, but I repainted it gray and I am sleeping better than ever. I think that the color really made a big impact. Another habit is constantly decluttering flat surfaces. I am telling you, I know I have talked about this before. It is so important. Decluttering my flat surfaces really changed the game for me. When your surfaces are free and clear of clutter, it just not only looks less cluttered, it's a million times easier to clean. You just wipe the surface instead of having to move a million things. And then you're not gathering dust because that's the other thing. The clutter just is like a dust magnet. If you don't believe me, just try it in like one room or one table or one surface. Just try it for a week, you know, consciously make sure not to put any clutter on there and see what you think. The next one is to create a drop zone in your entryway, an essential entryway, if you will. What I've done with my entryway and it has really changed how things go in our house. I've got a little bin where the kids can put their backpacks. I can put my purse or my bag. I've also got a cabinet in here where everybody puts their shoes. It also holds things like umbrellas or hats and mittens. Then on top, I've got a big bowl and we just put our keys and our wallets, you know, all of the small things that we need when we're leaving the house or coming home. Having an entryway that is really set up for coming into and leaving your home is going to make things a lot less cluttered and it's gonna make it a lot easier when you need to run out the door and go somewhere. The next is to make things as automatic as possible. The way that I've done this is I've got a number of routines that I've set up. These are just different routines that kind of get me through 
the day and I've got like cleaning routines. I also have morning routines. I have evening routines. I like having a morning routine in particular because when you wake up, you don't necessarily need to think about, okay, what am I gonna do? What do I need to do? You've just got this routine and you do it every day and you don't have to worry about it. I think a morning routine that really like sets you up to have a productive day is key. And then of course, an evening routine that sets you up to have a restful, relaxing evening is what you wanna go for. I also do this in other ways. One thing I do is I actually eat almost the same thing every day. This way I'm not going to the grocery store and trying to figure out what should I buy, what should I cook, what should I eat. Kind of eliminated those choices and I don't get sick of it. You know, I've probably got like 10 meals on rotation that we just cycle through and it really works for us and it makes things easier. And speaking of you know, making things more automatic. I also like to work out at home and I just work out with like one or two YouTubers. I particularly like to work out with Achieve Peak. That's my favorite one. And then that way when I'm wanting to work out, I'm not having to scroll for 10 minutes and find somebody to work out with or find a workout. I know exactly what channel to go to. And then just another thing's limiting my choices, coffee. I don't buy 10 different flavors of coffee so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm trying to figure out what type of coffee I wanna drink. I just have a couple options or a couple snack options just to make things easier. I'm looking to buy a um, an area rug in our in my bedroom. I think it's gonna make our bedroom cozier and nicer. And I was looking at all these different websites. I was on three or four websites and I'm I became super overwhelmed. There are just so many choices on these websites and I finally said to myself, okay, you are limited to one retailer and one website and that is where you're gonna look and that's where you need to buy the carpet from. Another habit is to not fill up your wall space. I know that sometimes you see an empty wall and you wanna fill it up with paintings and pictures and decorate it. Sometimes you just need a peaceful blank wall. And honestly, like if you do cover your walls, it could also make the walls kind of feel like smaller and cluttered and it makes your space feel smaller. So don't feel like you need to fill up all your walls with something. Okay, my final habit is about organization and it's organizing your rooms for how you use them. I think that is the most fundamental principle of organization. It doesn't have to look pretty. It doesn't have to be a specific way. It just has to be functional for you. Some things I do in my pantry I like to bake a lot. So I have an entire shelf dedicated to baking items. I have them at eye level because I use them every day and that's just set up exactly how I need it. In my bedroom, I do my makeup and my skincare and I've got one drawer where all of that stuff is perfectly organized for how I use it. And when I'm getting ready in the morning or getting ready at night, I just open that drawer and I've got everything right there. Also, I like to work out and I often do it in my living room. You know, we don't have a huge house or anything like that. So I've set up one corner of my living room and I've put all this stuff away, but I've got all my weights in there, my resistance bands, you know, anything I would need for a workout, it's organized right there in the living room. And maybe it sounds weird to store things in the living room, but again, it's functional for me. It's where I work out and when I wanna work out, I just go in there, I've got all my stuff. So those are my habits of essentialism. I hope they helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna link a video right here. Go ahead and click on it and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.